Good is YouTube, and welcome to the Blue Corner. And today's video, I have for you guys a card from Mega Deck Profile. This is going to be a Chronos Command based uh, Gear Chronicle deck. This is the less expensive version of Gear Chronicle, as you don't need four next days to play this. It's helpful. Uh, next stage builds are still better though, like Team Nogard has a really excellent build that I would play if I could, but I only have three next stage, so instead I'm going with this route. A more balanced version is you cut out some of these things, but I'll get into that in a bit, so. Yeah, this is a Chronos Command based gear chronicle, and starts off with the starter, uh, Chrono John. So, you guys know what this guy is. When he is bound from the field by your card effect, you can put him to the soul to call a Chrono John Dragon out, and then it can return, that comes back to your hand, so just, it's a good timely target. Not as important, though, to the build as it is in Chrono Jet because you don't have Metallic Phoenix. Four of him, and then you've got your four Chrono Jet Dragon. I thought about cutting this down to three because it is searchable, but I like having eight grade threes from, to guarantee my ride. But more often than not, you will be going into this guy. Um, form Calling Gear Eagle, so he has two skills. The first one is on rear guard, Generation Break 1. When his attack hits the Vanguard, you can time leap one of your units. So you can just, if you're on Chrono's Command, yeah, you also have to be on Chrono's Command for this thing, so. If you're on Chrono's Command, this guy swings, hits, and you have nothing else, you can at least time your Chrono Drawn, call a Chrono Jet Dragon, and a Grade 1, like a GG, Soul Blast, draw one, and get an attack off, and at the end of turn, just do that, so. It's good for that, but more, more often than not, though, and the main reason you play this is it's on stride scale, where if you stride a Chrono's Command, so either Revolution or Dragon on top of this thing, you tuck one of your units to the bottom of your deck, and you look at the top 10 cards for two units with the Time Leap skill, which I'm running a fair amount of, so, and you add them to it. So, it's a one for one or a potential plus one. It allows you to convert your field into hand advantage, and it's really helpful against matchups such as Link, Joker, Narukami, or Kagura, where they like to blow up your board. You just tuck your guys away so they can't lock, kill, or whatever, and then you get two cards out of the top of your deck. More often than not, I was getting one, but there are those times you hit two, and it just helps thin out your deck for triggers, PGs, what have you. And it's a very solid card. Like, you want to go into this thing first. Use a couple Chronos commands and then just go into Chrono Jet Dragon for next stage. So, so the threes for the twos. Four upstream dragons. These are staple in just about any gear Chronicle deck. On attack, Vanguard, GB1, he gains 4k, and then at the end of the turn, at the end of the battle, he goes back in the deck. Probably going to call out a GG or just something else. And once and off, it's going to be a GG. And it's your best call for, by. It's your best thing to call by time leaping a one. Four history mega dragon. So you guys know what this guy does at this point. Attack the vanguard. Kind of us one generation break one time leap a unit. Just allows you to get some pretty sick extra attacks off. Not as good as in here as in the chrono check build, but it's a time leap unit, so you can search it off in your eagle. And lastly, three copies of history mega dragon. This thing is awful, but because it's a time leap unit, I'm running it as a search target. Uh, on call from hand, time leap one of your units. This thing should not be as rare as it is, but it is a nice looking SP. That's it for the twos. For the ones, I am of course running four PGGs. You need the, uh, you don't need counterblast as much in this deck, so I might go back to the original PGs because we now have a gear, uh, Dimension Police player here, but Arlem's still Arlem. And four stride enablers. Any less than this in Gear Chronicle, it would be crazy. Three time break dragons. This thing's not very good, but it's a search target for Gear Eagle, so that's why it's in here. Two Steam Scara GG. I want to run one of these, but I always damage check one. I have to ride one, so. But you just call it out of the deck by time leaping your Chrono Drone, or you just time leap it and call it back and get another plus. And lastly, one copy of Steam uh, Maiden Melum. So, Melum is a grade 1 version of Upstream Dragon, and it can lead to some really neat combo plays. So, on attack, she gains 4, so she's 11. And then she goes into the deck and you call out a 0. So, the zeros you'll probably call will be a Chrono Drawn if it's been spun in the Gear Chronicle Mirror, or you're going to call your Heart Thump Worker, who then you can put into the soul when your Chrono Jet Dragon attacks and draw a card. So, uh, I ended up at one point calling down two of these things. Yeah, I ended up calling 
in one of my games, I called one of these things as a booster, swung for 15, it was blocked, whatever. Then this goes into deck, calls out another one of these, then my Chrono Jet attacked, I sucked up both of these things, drew two, plus ten, and made it a bit more difficult to block. So this thing's very good. I might take it up to two, don't know yet. It does suck when you ride slash check it, but for the most part, it's okay. Like, it's a really good card. So we'll clear this up because I'm running out of space for all my stuff, and as far as the triggers go, I decided to be full on yellow 12 crits. Because of the way that this deck works now, you have a fairly good draw engine outside of draw trigger, so you don't actually need them as much as in other builds, so I'm just running 12 crit. And four heals, because you finally listen to this, you're crazy. But. And then for the strides, which is where this deck differs from most standard Gear Chronicle decks, you're running... Four copies of Chrono Dragon Next Stage. So, or not Next Stage. What's his name? Uh, Chrono's Command Revolution. So, uh, this guy's skill is on ride, uh, on stride. Count of S1, G flip, generation break two, so he has to be your second stride. Uh, G flip, spin both players' boards. However, if you already have a Chrono's Command Dragon in your G zone, you can choose two of your rear guards and not spin them. So,. Uh, you can also time this with Gear Eagle skills so that if you have three rear guards in play and you're gonna spin all and you're gonna spin one of them away, you can just suck them, uh, tuck them into the deck with this thing, and then keep your other two rear guards and get uh, a plus one or, or one for one off the top from that. So he's very good at wiping out boards against combo oriented decks like Nova Grapplers, Lock of Force, just things that have to commit a whole bunch of cards onto the field to try and win. This guy just blows them back. Uh, Obviously not as good as the other wing con in this deck, Next Stage, but that's because Next Stage is just ridiculous. Uh, Next Stage, if you don't know, if you have a Chrono Jet heart, at the end of the battle he attacks, Chrono Bass 1, discard 3, put him to the top of your extra deck, and you re-stand your Chrono Jet Dragon. So he's a very good finisher, especially since Chrono Jet has the glory skill, but... Uh, you know, not much else to say. It's next stage, he's extremely expensive, and he's a solid backup after you've gone through these guys. And then lastly, one copy of Fiery March Colossus. This thing is insane. So, on attack, kind of S1, tuck one of your units and tuck one of your opponent's units, I believe. Yeah, if you do choose one of your opponent's regards, yeah. So you, or you choose or your opponent chooses? No, you do, yeah. So you choose one of your opponent's regards and you spin it and they cannot guard with the grade of the number that you spin. More often than that, you're just going to tuck a 1 so they can't perfect guard this. So it's basically another Chrono Jet Dragon, but as a stride. And I've literally stolen games because I attacked with this thing at 26, and they couldn't PG it, so I died. And that's more or less the deck itself. In comparison to just a straight-up pure Chrono Jet build like that runs Balith and 4 Next Stage, this is obviously not as good. Like, Team No Guard said it best, it's a casual build for funsies at best, like if you want to play Gear Chronicle competitively, you unfortunately need four of these, but I don't have them, so I'm going with this. A more, a better compromise would probably be you run two of these, two of these, one of these, a Metallica Phoenix to flip this up, and then this and Fate Rider Dragon, and then you just run Balif and uh, Chrono Jet's damage on flipping grade one, but I decided to just try the full on YOLO build, it was okay. I won more games than I lost, uh, but I wouldn't expect, like, this will probably like, get some wins here and there, it'll probably be piggybacking on the, some other teams, like, it'll probably be like the third team member of some teams in Team League, so if this ends up topping, that'll be why, but, like, if you're gonna play Gear Chronicle and you have everything at your disposal, then just a straight up next stage builds better. And that's it for the deck itself, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and that's all I got for the time being. I'm trying to build a deck, but that's a work in progress. But, yeah, that's uh, Chronos Command Gear Chronicle. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and until next time, this is Blue Starting 9, jacking out.